Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called methylprednisolone, and for this video, we are going to be referring to it as its brand name, which is solumedrol. So solumedrol does fall under the class of corticosteroids, and its mechanism of action is that it suppresses acute and chronic inflammation, and it reverses capillary permeability and potentiates smooth muscle relaxation. So basically, it prevents or controls inflammation by controlling the rate of protein synthesis. Your main indication is going to be respiratory distress due to COPD, asthma, and anaphylaxis. But also, there is another indication that you definitely need to check your EMS protocol on because they have taken it out of a lot of them, but I did include it because some still have it, and that is acute spinal cord trauma. Okay, before we get into dosages, as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. Your adult dose is going to be 125 milligrams slow IV or IO push, and the max is going to be 125 milligrams. So your pediatric dose is going to be one to two milligrams per kilogram, also IV or IO, and the max is also 125 milligrams. Your contraindications will be fungal infections, premature infants, immunocompromised patients, and GI bleeds. Adverse reactions can include hypertension, hyperglycemia, headache, nausea, increased ICP, seizures, and fluid retention. Okay, and a few drug interactions of solumedrol. Just be aware, it can interact with NSAIDs and antiplatelet drugs, but also because of the hyperglycemic effects that solumedrol does have on the body, if you're giving insulin or other hypoglycemic agents, it can kind of slow the effects of these drugs. How it's supplied? It is supplied in a 40 milligram or 125 milligram or 500 milligram vial, which is typically in a powder form. Okay, a few side notes about solumedrol before we wrap up. So the onset of the medication is between one to two hours, so it doesn't kick in right away. So don't delay your life-saving medications or measures in order to give it. So for example, if you have a patient that's experiencing anaphylaxis, so we're not going to hesitate to give the patient oxygen, epi, benadryl in order to give solumedrol. So solumedrol will definitely be in the algorithm of anaphylaxis, but it's not going to be one of the first medications given. As I talked about before, hyperglycemia can occur with uh, the administration of solumedrol. So that's just something to be aware of in the diabetic population. And if they're given insulin and it's not working like it normally would, but solumedrol is in their system, that's probably going to be the cause of that. The medication is not indicated for a spinal cord injury that occurred over eight hours prior. So if an acute spinal cord injury is one of your indications in your protocol for solumedrol, just don't give it for injuries that happened over eight hours ago. Typically, solumedrol is in a powder solution that requires reconstitution. So it's very similar to glucagon with one ml of normal saline, you shoot it up into the powder solution and it's given like that. So it does cross the placenta and it could cause fetal harm. It is a category C pregnancy drug, so just be aware of that. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical control, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!